welcome to today's video. So for today's video, I am going to be transforming this entire desk, well, the top of it, into a marble top. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do that. Yay! Okay, so what I'll be doing is I'm so freaking excited. So first of all, I'm going to take everything off the top. So let's do that. So now that everything's moved off it, what I'm going to do is make sure I clean it. I'm not going to wet it or anything because I don't want any water residue under it, so I'm just going to sweep it all off like so. So see how it's nice and bare. And then what I'm going to do is get my cover seal. So I've got my cover seal here. So I've pre-cut those and put them there, but what I did to achieve this is I got the length Meet it on the corner that I wanted to do that on, pulled it all the way out, and then measured along this line, sliced along there, and then I also did the same this way as well. So I've pre-cut all my pieces, because you can follow from the back there, and draw on the lines what length you want, like, you know, just do a little pen mark on each of the bits, then cut it all out. So now what I'm going to do is stick those bits on, so, so we've unstuck the whole end and then we're just going to match it up before we start popping it down. So with this Duracell it's not super super like insanely sticky that we're not able to pull up the edges. So I'm just going to make sure that the edges fit and it's not going to overlap too much and look too silly because I don't want it to overlap but if it does I've got a trick for if it does overlap. So now that you're happy with the placement which I'm pretty happy with that placement, but I've got all of these ruffles in it. So, I'm just going to give it a hard press, because now we've got our marble countertop on there. Get my hard thing, and I'm going to rub it along to make sure I buff out all of these little edges. And you just kind of, what your goal is, you're, is you're pushing out all of these little edge parts to the edge. Wait. All of these air bubbles to the edge to make a smooth surface. So that could be pushing it to the side, it could be pushing it out, but you don't want it to fold. So if you find that there's too many, what you can do is re-pull this off and smooth it out as you go, which is another technique that you can do. Smooth that as you go. I'm just finding that this is actually scratching it, so I'm going to use something else. So I'm going to use this colour instead and then smooth it out that way. And so I'm not. So I managed to stick this side down. We got there in the end, guys. We got there. This is why it's a tutorial. And then I'm going to re-pull this side up and just kind of smooth that one out as I go. So see, as I'm slowly letting it down, I can push out every single ear bubble that comes. See how that's pushing out every single ear bubble. So we're not going to have any until the end. And then that should tuck in nicely there. But it's not. But that's when my little hack comes into play. So we've got it nice and perfectly smoothed up. Just go over it, making sure all the bits are smoothed out. Alrighty. Yes! Now, what you're going to do, is, if you have one of these on file, is to get a nail file and just go along the edges like this, and it's going to file off all that excess. So I'm just pulling the file down just to file off all of that excess side. And it's getting off all of that edging there, so it's not going to peel up. That's why if you go over the edge, it's not that big of a deal, because you can just file it off. See? Like so. So then with this side, what you're going to do is file along the top. So just lightly file along the edge part and you're going to be able to peel off that whole bit. See with my nail how I'm managing to just peel along there? Because it's filed it down into that groove. Without ripping it. So 
So then I'm using my nail, which is a nice sharp point, to precision that line there. And then you can see it's all stuck on perfectly. All right, let's try the same thing with the next one. So just the, what the best technique I found is lightly press it on where you think it's going to fit and then we're going to do our trick with the um, with the case to roll it out. So I'm just going to make sure it's definitely overlapping and then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to overlap it here because it's definitely going to overlap on this side. So what we're going to do is start from this end. Straightening it out. I remember if it overlaps, we can always file it off. So that's what I'm going to do with the back here and with the front. Alrighty, and so then we've got this side. So let's just straighten it out with that case. And here is where things might get a bit tricky with the file in here, so you don't want to hit this side of it, but we'll get there. So that's all nice and smoothed out, so now we've just got to do some filing. Just make sure you seal off those edges with something sharp. Mine, my acrylic nails. So here what I'm doing is just making sure I get that without filing too much into these, this plastic strip. That's why I'm going a little bit slower and I'm just doing my file at an angle like that. Just making sure I get all that off. So this is it here. And as you can see, all of that filing on the edges has been done real good. This line looks awesome. I mean, if you're really that anal, you could shove a clear coating of Duracell on top, just so you've got the extra protection, but I think that this paper will be enough since I don't normally put paper, um, water or anything on there, but I think this looks so much more glam fits my beauty room way better and I really wanted to try it because this was originally a bookshelf but now it's on its side so it'll be really good to see with all the stuff back on it. And how much better is that? That looks so much cooler. And you wouldn't have even known that that Duracell only cost me $3, but it looks like I've got a marble counter, like, what do you call it? Desk. It looks uh, amazing. That's so sick. That's so cool. Hi. That's so wicked. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video where I made a DIY marble countertop. Oh my god, nail aesthetic. Yes. So I made a DIY, DIY, I'm like, Cerise DIY, um, I made a DIY marble top desk. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe with the subscribe boxes. And until next time, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!